and welcome back to Show and Tell Thursday. Today's painting is One If By Land. So this is my painting of downtown Boston. Uh, this is looking towards the north end of Boston. Um, it's taken from um, above Quincy Market, Faneuil Hall, um, looking out towards uh, the north end. Uh, so this painting was great for me in a lot of reasons. Uh, Story-wise, uh, and I'll get you guys closer. Story-wise, this was, this meant a lot to me. My, um, my family, um, my aunts, my great aunts grew up in the North End. My mom grew up in the North End, which is primarily, in it, or uh, was then, was uh, primarily Italian-American. Um, so it's, it's very rich in culture. Um, very rich in history, as most Boston, most of Boston is. Um, so I have very fond memories of, of this section of town right here, and that's that's the North End. Um, not very there are there are any high buildings there. Those are all in the financial district and uh, and um, and closer to where I'm where I took this photograph. Um, so so it's really it's it's condensed and it's quaint and it's it's just like I said it it has a lot of great meaning to me. It has great food there too. Um, historically, it's it's really it's really kind of cool because I mean, you can see it, but right there, that's the old North Church, where uh, Paul Revere got the signals for uh, for the the British troop movements, um, which is where this painting got the name. So this painting is called One If By Land, and uh, and uh, that's 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 how it, it basically happened. So I took this photograph. Um, it was it was mid March. It was freezing. There was snow on the ground. A little bit of snow on the ground, but it was very cold. But the the air was clear, and uh, and, and when I took the photograph, I just knew that you know it was going to be a fun a fun painting to do. This painting is two and a half by four and a half. So this fits into that same standard series landscape series size that I've been working on. And the, uh, the detail on this I had a lot of fun with. So it's not quite as intense as Through Emily's Eyes, but it does have a lot going on. It's great. One of my aunts, uh, who obviously grew up there too, um, was able to pick out certain things, which, which made me feel really good. So, so that is the north end, and now you can see the church a little bit better right there. Uh, and and then down below, this is uh, Quincy Market, Faneuil Hall, which is a very popular popular um, sh shopping place. It's not I don't want to say it's like a mall. There are a lot of stores there, but it's definitely like a like a market. Uh, it's just really a lot of cool stores, um, entertainment in the summertime out on the out on the um, you know on the main section here, and uh, just really cool. There is a Hard Rock Cafe there too. Uh, it's just a nice section of town. It's a cool section of town to take people um, who have never been to Boston. It's just a neat place to kind of get a feel for everything right in one spot. So the frame on this painting is kind of cool too. Uh, the frame itself, this is Honduras Mahogany. I chose this because of the orange color again. I really love this wood. Um, Honduras Mahogany has just a great grain to it. It's not too like condensed and tight, so you got you got, you have really neat grain pattern here, uh, but it's also not wide open too, like say white oak something like that. Uh, plus the orange color, this has no stain on it at all. This is the color of the wood, which is beautiful. And I knew that I'd be what I'd be doing for the background for this. So again, like the like the Manhattan painting, I wanted something orange, so I chose Honduras mahogany for this one. Uh, this is one of the few paintings or frames that is actually clear coated. It has an automotive 2K clear on it, so it's very high gloss. Um, I thought it would be a, a good choice for this one, and uh, so we went that way. And the background for this painting, this crushed up brick, this is crushed up brick from the walkways around Faneuil Hall. So I basically walked around and picked up little chips of brick and uh, and crushed them up for the background for this painting. So you actually have Faneuil Hall marketplace brick behind you. It is not from the building because <laughs> that is a historical landmark and you don't want to be taking stuff off of historical landmarks. So yeah, so that brick came from the, the brick walkways all around which were newly installed so yeah that was it was good um so yeah so this is um this is one of by land it's one of my favorite paintings um i had a lot of fun painting it i had a lot of fun figuring out certain things for instance this one had a this this gold leaf bordered background which i do a lot now well in this painting i was kind of figuring it out so i did a lot of test panels with 
gold leaf. So these are just aluminum, just aluminum scraps. And I gold leafed them and I did them in different colors and I tinted them to see if, you know, maybe tinting them would work. And that's when I finally got sold on just the plain 23 karat gold, which is just gold leaf. So I, I it really, really popped. There is gold leaf in this painting too. The, the dome of the marketplace is gold leafed, which is kind of fun. Uh, try to do that too. So, oh, and actually I have, this is what the gold leaf panel looks like before it's installed. It's an aluminum panel and just the edges are gold leaf. And uh, this one, what happened with this was, this was again me trying to figure out, figure things out. This one is a little bit bigger than, than the one that I ended up using and I thought the gold border was a little bit too big for the painting. So I ended up doing this smaller panel and that's, that's how it ended up. So I saved this one just in case because there, I may end up doing another painting that's that this will work on and this is you know too nice to just toss in the trash so that's but that gives you a good view of the uh gold leaf panel underneath too so one of by land if you're interested um it also has uh gicle prints made and again i had these done by madison edition and they completely nailed it um it is exactly like the original which is which is awesome this one's in cellophane so there's a little bit of a glare there but you get the idea they do such good work with printing and and capturing the pho photography for the prints. I'm I'm endlessly impressed with their work. So I'm very proud to have one of my land as a gicle print as well. Uh, this painting is available, so you can contact me directly. It's not on the website yet, but it will be. Um, but you can definitely check out the prints. Those are those are there now, uh, so you can grab those. And it, what you're looking at, uh, it's packaged. So this is the print here. It's actual size. It's two and a half by four and a half, and there's a half inch border around it. So the background is just the background header card that I use. And what I do is I take a photograph of the actual uh, background of the painting. So you get a little bit of a feel for how I kind of put it together. So that's, that's it. And there's a short story on the back about it too. So there you go. So that is one of my land. I really hope you enjoyed this. And thank you for coming back. And um, if, you, if you're interested, every Thursday will be a new painting. And now every Tuesday on the YouTube channel will be a, a airbrushing or art tech tip um, type of day. So uh, take a short video on some tip or technique that, that might help you out as an artist. Or if you're just interested in art and want to see how some of this stuff is done, it's kind of fun to see behind the scenes. And that's what Tuesdays are about. So I really appreciate you guys coming by. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and follow. And uh, tell all your friends. And um, I will be back on Thursday with a new painting. And uh, just want to say thank you. And I will catch you guys soon. Thanks.